this point is my 7 1 and this point is my 8 1 uh, I'll draw the line the next uh, that comes here is 1 and 5 so where is 1 1 is here on this line and 5 is here on this line I'll draw the projectors from here I'll take it this is my 1 1 this is my 5 1 and in the straight line it is D so this is my D1 now the next that comes is 2 and 4 so here is 4 and here is 2 this is 4 1 this is 2 1 finally I have 3 which is there here this is 3 so this becomes 3 dash and finally I have now the next I'll mark is B B is here this is B1 and C is on the, this line so I'll mark here this is C1 so now let's join the different points I'll use a black uh, color sketch pen to use this A to B B to C C to D D to E and E to A so as you can see the size of my pentagon has decreased so where will my circle be now start from 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 and finally 7 okay so this is what I get as my figure here now what are the front views and top views here this figure that I have is my top view or my plan this is my front view or my elevation I hope you understood this the uh, only the lines that seem are complicated but the rest of the problem is quite easy let's move to the third problem now now we have a circular plate a circular plate of diameter 70 mm is resting on its circumference such that it, its plane is inclined to 60 degrees to HP and 30 degrees to VP let's draw its projection so here comes a multiple oblique problem which is the plane is actually oblique to both HP as well as VP so what are the stays that we need to follow first of all this uh, similar thing that we did in the uh, previous problem will be done the first thing that we'll do is we'll make it inclined with VP Oh, sorry HP and then what we'll do we'll convert and we'll make it inclined with uh, VP so we will have both the problems in different steps the steps that we are going uh, did right now we just have to add another step and make it uh, we have to take the angle again uh, with respect to VP to have what to have the final figure as the uh, the front view and the top view of the final figure that is the original figure that exists so let's uh, do it now the given data, let's write down the given data. What is given to me, uh, the uh, given part to me is a circular plate of diameter 70 mm. D is 70 mm. So my R is 20, uh, 35 mm. And the angle with HP is given as 60 degrees and angle with VP is given as 30 degrees so first I'll take an angle with VP and then I'll take an angle with HP so let's uh, get going and let's start drawing the problem
see when these kind of problems arise uh, or are given you should always remember that you should draw start drawing the problem from left hand side of the sheet so that it does not go out of the sheet because you say 70 mm so if you measure 70 mm here then it the first figure will come in these kind of thing then you have to leave a little bit of gap and then the next figure will be something of this sort uh, something of this and then again you have to have another figure so try and have the maximum width of the paper used so i will start drawing it from here because it is on hp so i'll have the straight line here so i i don't have to use this space so i will exactly start drawing from here the first thing that i need to draw is i need to i have drawn this line xy the next thing is i have a circle so that has diameter of 70 mm so i will draw first of all with radius 35 mm and diameter uh, which is diameter 70 mm i'll draw a circle i'll use it from here yes i'll first verify it yes it is equivalent yeah I'll take it a bit up, yes. This is the center of the circle. And now what I'll do, I'll just darken it up a bit. So this is the circle, a little bit of flaw because I'm using a sketch pen instead of just a pencil. So this is the thing that I have. Okay, the next is I need to draw, divide this circle into eight parts. So again, I'll draw, I'll just divide it up using my scale so that it's a bit quick and you, you already know the concept of dividing the circle. So I need not worry about that. It's almost accurate. Where are my I will name them as A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. these points obviously now I have to ex extend it upwards extend the line a bit G H I forgot H what am I doing B and H will be in a straight line G and C will be in a straight line. D and E would be in a straight line. And E would be the point. So these points that I derived on plane XY. This is because uh, I got it on XY because the, the this is on HP. That's why the front view would be on HP h dash and b dash c dash g dash this is d dash and f dash and this is e dash now what i need to do again is that in that i uh, took it as 30 degrees and i put it so uh, with vp i need to make an angle of 30 degrees so let's make an angle of 30 degrees i will have to draw the next thing out because this is quite big and my paper is quite small so the third step, I'll be drawing it on the other paper, but you'll be able to see all of them together. I'll make sure of that. I'll 
consume as less space as possible so this is 30 degrees here this point and this okay I'll take the center first and here the 30 degrees is here I'll draw a straight line again I'll do the same thing A to E will be the distance I'll just connect it so this point is A1 dash and this point is E1 dash okay so now let's quickly mark the other points this is B and H the next is C and G C G not C N G F and D okay so I have all the three points I'll draw the line quickly and swiftly mark the points quickly B1 dash H1 dash C1 dash G1 dash and D1 dash and F1 dash these are the various points extend them downwards I'll use a pencil to do so that it's lighter The next thing that I need to do is extend lines from where from here parallel lines as we did in the previous problem again as I told you so this point is my E1 this point and this point will be my B1 and D1 respectively this line can be extended and A and E can be obtained A1 E1 The next is F and H, so I'll just extend it. So this is my H1, this is my F1. This point is my G1. So now I'll connect these points, start from A with a smooth curve, go up to B, E, uh, C, sorry, this is C, this is C, not D. E. Okay, try to make the curve as uh, smooth as possible and the final step now we will go to the final step now what we need to do is that we have a 60 degree thing so, so for 60 degrees what I'll do I'll just here use this extension to the paper I'll give an extension to the paper so I'll draw the problem on here because I don't have space as I need to draw it big you will have all the space in your sketchbook so not a problem so this is the line that I have extended as Y now I need to put this line here because it is making an angle with HP at 60 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll make the problem is just the final step of the problem is there. 
I'll take this point uh, or I'll take it here so that it does not uh, I'll, uh, sorry I'll take it in between chalo 60 degrees draw a straight line now what we have to do is so this straight line will have G and E so I will take this point uh, yes I can take any of the diameter so I am taking uh, say I'll take G and E this point I'll take it as G2 so the next thing that I need to mark is I need to mark these distances from G this is the first distance then the next distance is this the next distance is same and finally again one more distance for E so this final this point is G2 this final point that I got is C2 this is C so this final point that I got is C2 uh, what I need to do is I need to draw perpendicular lines through this first lines perpendicular to this so make sure the line is perpendicular and then I need to mark these points so H and F so I'll mark H and F from the center A and E so A and again B and D so I just replicated the whole ellipse that was formed and put it at an angle this point is B2 this point is a2 this point is h2 this point is f2 this point is